cookies here. Today we'll be showing you how to make a paper brown World War II American branding machine gun. The first thing you're going to need is A4 pieces of paper, which I've got a load of them here. And the next thing you're going to need a black permanent marker, a pair of scissors, my fancy scissors, normal tape, and some masking tape, okay? And what I'm going to do is get your April piece of paper and roll two of these. And get one of them and get the permanent marker and put black dots. You can put a, around the whole barrel, whole paper in them, but I just did two sides. Two sides, just so I don't waste time. Then you're going to get another piece of paper and roll them, not that way, but upwards. So it has less water and you're going to roll like... 12 of them, and then when they should look like this, get four of them, tape them together, get three of them, okay, so you get three, so you get three of them, and then what you're going to do next is get them like that, and then tape them together like that, and just so I wouldn't like make it, and so I'll leave some parts so I leave. Well, there goes some, there goes the tape. So hard, and now it's on my thumb. Perfect. And I'll be back one quicker than you get some more tape because I ran out of tape. No need to worry because I've got another roll right next to me. Now the wrong part is right in where it is. Found it. So, how to get a tape? Found it though. So I just had to do this kind of boring. Hey. Down. Okay. See that? Cut. So, and make sure you leave a bit so you don't get to like climb it just like I did. And get your strip of tape. Strip of tape. Which one is good? Okay. And then take the two sides. No need to do the middle because they're already perfectly in line. Then you can start taking her up. <clears throat> there we go. Once you've done that, you get this big block of paper. Like that. You could use this for like a bomb. You can like, uh, bang. Place a bomb. But that's going to take the place of your burning machine gun like that. And then what you're going to want to do is get your scissors and cut. Three of the middle pieces of paper, tubes, cut, the, cut a line in three of them, and cut them so you've got this big piece, you can just bend them in, you cut lots of little lines in them, so just cut them like that, so cut here, cut here, cut here, so it's one, two, three. And then you push, you bend them all the way back, pushing down the barrel. And it should look like that. And get your piping and just squeeze it if you need. Because I like to squeeze it. And then just squeeze it in there. And don't have to make it. With a dent in there, because I don't want to walk. You can make it pretty. And then there's your basic browning machine gun part. <laughs> then with your other piece, which I told you to keep aside, what you want to do is cut here at the middle tape. So it looks like that. And then you want to get some more tape. Like I said, you might need it later. And cut three strips and get three strips. So we can do this. And 
and then get your first tip and get your first tip and get your piece of paper and get it like that and get your like that and then flip it over and get the next step place it on your grip happy birthday to you happy birthday to you and get your first tip and go around it so it stays in place and yeah it's a little bit wob wobbly you can make it non wobbly which I want it very sturdy which I will be using them for walls for paper gun walls for my friends and I get the first wonky tape happy birthday to you You're wondering how I know how to make these things? I don't. I just guess and I roll a piece of paper up and see what happens. That's seriously what all I do. I just guess how to make it. If you guys are actual professionals and know how to make all these things, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. And guys, can you comment what gun you want me to make next? No one really commented me to make this gun because I just wanted to make it. I should add it because I wanted to add it to my collection. So this is a bit boring. But there is your barrel browning. You can make it longer or shorter. And there's your handle. And you can put it on something. And just go. You can make a chain for because this had a chain. It would be like the machine gun. It would be a hole here and a hole on the other side. And you put the chain through it. And I could actually just get a piece of paper and just tape it down the side. Which I am actually going to want to do. Okay, I'll just get my piece of paper. Get my piece of paper and cut it. You don't have to do this, but I want to do it. And you get it, you can add detail to the chain and just tape it to the side and it can look like that with your chain belt. I will add detail later, but what I just want to do now is get this video done because I don't want to go on for too long. It's been going for six minutes now. And now I get that and tape it to the gun. I'll add one more safety tape just to be safe that it won't fall off. Yeah, and there's your paper gun. Paper. Here's your paper American Browning machine gun. And this is Cool Kids here. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this is Cool Kids here. Signing out. Goodbye.